Okay, I'm kind of responding to this blog that I that I read on the. Um, if you go to FX Street and then you go inside this uh, social network, there's a. Um, it's probably the only place that has actually a chat room. So that's kind of fun. So you can get instant gratification. The problem when you read when it, what somebody writes on a blog, the, the, the issue there is, the problem there is that you're kind of like, you cannot respond immediately as you're reading it thinking, oh, you got to be kidding me. So you kind of want to answer the person right away. And uh, I hate typing, so I thought, well, I'll just do it in a video because it's just so much faster. Just, just so much quicker. Um, plus, I can reference a chart. And uh, I guess the I'm not I'm not a spokesperson for MT4, uh, and I have been to NetDania, or how you pronounce it, and, uh, and that was probably the first um, charting sites I went to outside of some other ones that were like a hundred bucks a month, which I thought you gotta be kidding me. And I, I've been trading for years, so I traded with uh, um, TradeStation. I traded with um, Oh Signal. I don't know if everybody would trade with Signal. I traded with something on uh, 200 by, um, I was trading 200 pixels by 300 pixels on a green screen. Okay, so I traded, I traded all that stuff. Actually, I did pretty good on that. I was trading soybeans with stochastics, and I did pretty good. Yeah, uh, if you run a 15 minute chart course, 45 minute chart, you only get uh, five charts at five bars a day. You get 45 minutes, and then the market might gap against you. And then it's just the big, you know, it's a big drama. If you're on the wrong side of the gap, you don't want to trade pork bellies, though. You know, unless you, unless you got some options to hedge. So, like, uh, I'm looking at this um, this post here, and I see that this guy who's a new trader, uh, N-O-O-B, he's wondering about this guy that's making all this money. Well, you know, anybody can make a pile of money. And like looking at this chart here, if you bought at this uh, 200, uh, 100 crossover here um, and you loaded the wagon on this trade, um, say it's your first day trading and you just, you're like, yeah, I got this recommendation to get in here. And, w and without regard to the um, top bottom, that, exi that the top, without regard to the moving average there, if you just go and look for the, just for the good old top, the pivot here which would be this this hammer here you know um and just placed your order there when the market spiked down uh of course i guess you wouldn't have got filled there you'd have to kind of be a little tighter you'd have to take a risk and actually start buying here i, I don't know if you could actually i guess in this instance here yeah for for this the, this entry um of course you'd have to use the alexander elder rule there um that you're coming back to the moving average. Uh, certainly, uh, this is a, um, I put a, a 20 in here. This is 20 period moving average. This is a, uh, a 50. You know, if you bought at the 50, Alexander Elder style, you would have got in a little bit earlier. Of course, you made quite a bit of bank there if you wrote it all the way up to the top, right? Because it's a, it's a trend trade. And then here's the, uh, the 100 moving average and the 100 200 are kind of like almost they converge here of course this is a big sloppy mess over here so i don't know how you play that one whether you say well this is the pivot and just like because if you're buying on that oh of course you have you ran a stop on you ran, you ran your stop on that one right so it's really it depends what time it it depends where you're at in the picture this stuff does queue up nicely i can't say i'd want to wait that long to get into a trade when there's all this beautiful trading up here i think this 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 pace here 20 is a little bit more my speed in other words i'd be buying there you know dump it um buy there dump it buy there you get stopped out then come here buy there um ride that one just you know be in the trade for like uh five days get out you know just hit and run uh, i don't think i could bear waiting this long uh when this this entry here i probably would have got out here anyways at this doji but it's climax move there and then just kind of drifting not really as beautiful as this right so i mean based on based on the um you know the velocity of the market how how quick can you make money you want to make money as fast as you can you know i mean here like i'd be selling into that i sold into that actually so so i'm selling into that
That's ridiculous. Uh, I'll counter trend trade that. And uh, yeah, it's in an uptrend. <clears throat> so you'll like the compression here. You go out, look, uh, look for your other entries. You know, some of these are, are, are going to be um, pretty, pretty brutal. You know, like getting in here at the support level. Uh, this is when you're going to have a problem with your system. You know, it's going to be, uh, you know, here's the uh, 100 moving average. You're buying at support. Hmm. And then here's the uh, the two the 200 moving average. That's very trustworthy, right? I don't know which one more trustworthy, the 100 or the 200, but you see how, like, you can make the argument for selling into that, but your moving average is pointed up. So does your rule system say that if it's pointing in a certain direction, that's the trend? It, it really depends on your rule system. And uh, this this why I would just um, try to stay away from uh, the moving averages because there's just too many conflicting uh, ideas there. This to me looks like a major pivot. So I'm thinking <clears throat> this zone right here is where I want to get in. And it just so happens to um, come into this moving average, kind of busted through that one. If you bought it that one at the 50, if you bought the 100, you were good. The 200, you never got filled. Um, so you kind of have to do a just a visual walk back. You don't have to back test this stuff to see that it's going to get its ass kicked. It's going to get clobbered on certain trades. And certain trades, you're not going to even have a chance to get in. As it's collapsing here, you have to, your only entry is at the 50. It never comes back to the um, 100 till here. And it's like, then it's too late. Now you're just, uh, uh, you're getting, well, you can, st it depends how tight your stop is, of course. But look at all the money you could have made if you bought down here. And they said to you, well, who's buying down there? Well, you know, put a $50 handles on there and just figure out how much it's going to cost you. You know, it's going to cost you to risk in here, and this is 100 pips. Two bars is 100 pips. So, just your premium entries here, you know, without regard to that spaghetti up here. This is your premium entry, right? Pivot all the way back to here. Okay. I think there's just too much going on. Everybody's got projecting their beliefs on these these charts is brutal. Okay, then um, all this come up and retest that fails comes back to um, you know halfway or thirty eight point two or whatever it is. Um, and then uh, this was the top bottom, and then here we have to go up here. So now the next target is gonna come up here, right? Go after that. That's the target, right? May not make it there. How many pips away is that? Let me see if I get one more compression level out. You can't do this in that Denya. You cannot manipulate the chart like this. Not this fast, sorry. It, it's, it's living in Java and it's crashing all day long. And they're hacking Java. They hacked me out of that thing. Had to reload the plugin 40 times. Reboot the computer 30 times. But look at this. This is max compression here. Look at this cluster here. Gives you this perfect top bottom. That's a big deal price there. Dollar forty something. Yeah. Remember this whole thing? This what was the what was the news the day this was going on though? This is what I'm wondering. When I when I started trading this thing, it was um this is the cliff that we were at. It was way down we down at um was it a dollar gosh it was here remember this bottom here well that was the end of the world for that currency unbelievable yeah dollar twenty something so now we're here so are we in an uptrend that's the weekly chart that's a 400 period moving average. Yeah, it's an uptrend. It's pulled back. So, yeah, it's forming a triangle. Another triangle, what do you know? Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's just like same drama over and over again. Yeah, break out of that triangle.
Sounds good to me. I mean, of course, I may have to pull back one more time. Let's go to the one hour. Let's stretch this thing out. But, um... Yeah, the stretching process is... But it gives you an idea how far away... When you look at a triangle like that on the weekly, now you can drill down to the hourly, you see how... So in the hourly, you could probably... This would probably be a nice entry here at the uh, 200, but I think on the hourly, a 200 might work. This 400 worked here nice. So... I guess you kind of want to load the wagon. If you're going to do this system, you kind of want to load the wagon when these guys are in their most spaghetti eyes twisted knot mode. Which I'm sure that the, you know, volatility is getting, everything's drifting into a corner there, then the explosion, then it's one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah. and then here comes the correction. Of course, this is a little tough sledding on the downside. You know, kind of like um, maybe just trade it in the, in the, in the up version. But uh, I just want to go to this candle so in the, before I finish this thing and just do the um, trades that I would do uh, without regard to the uh, the trend. I just kind of like non-directional trading because it just seems to make more money. I don't seem to be able to have the patience to ride through these uh, trends. For instance, if you were to be go long because your system here is saying we're in an uptrend all these moving averages have crossed over they all crossed over here right here you got long right there at the crossover of course to kind of get a little owie on your account because you uh, actually bought at the crossover that's the problem with macd you know it's the problem with all this stuff it lags you know um if you can step in front of the market and start selling into this i mean it's only 25 pips and then ride that all the way down and yeah maybe get in the trend here or get out of your counter trend but uh and then this would be a nice thing where th these guys are intersecting and of course this is the uh, 400 moving average so but the premium entry here so now imagine you're along the market and you're like yeah you know i bought down here and uh uh, you see your accounts up and you're like yeah it's they let your profits run man <laughs> that's what i've been told and cut your losses short so you know you have no trailing stop your stops down here you've moved your stop up to here but personally i couldn't handle being in a large position um or even a small position where it's like okay my account's totally up i'm like totally like just i can see we're at top so let's just get out you know I mean, I don't think it's too difficult to run, even though it's a one-hour chart. I'm going back to November 20. I'm going back about uh, 20 days here. I mean, you know, but the premium entry for me is always going to be the spike, because that's what I, I basically base my whole trading system on capturing this move and just getting out of the market. I just don't want to be in these markets holding a position and watching my equity fluctuate. You know, uh, it's just not. I don't find it to be enjoyable. I once sat in a trade for two weeks in the dollar Swiss, and I swear it didn't move more than 30 pips for two weeks. I mean, I couldn't believe it. Of course, it later collapsed into no man's land and totally uh, went into bizarre land. Uh, it was amazing. But this this thing here with the spike here, like, um, this is the date. This is a news day, and then this is the second news day. I mean, that was just... Buy low, sell high, you know. I mean, the trend's up, right? Now, if you got in here with a tight stop, that's a problem, you know. So what I developed is a, uh, a way to capture all this stuff with a really deep stop. I'll probably about 100 pips stop on all these news trades because, uh, you know, this market move 100 pips on a news day, you know. So you're buying into this, cashing out all the way up, and then it's it's a, called a super ball uh, uh, script, and basically I'm gonna buy all the way into this thing, play the retrace plus the uh, bounce out of it. But that's my project. I'm into execution, order execution.